Let's do an update on the ATP count in 2017 for total aerobic cell respiration for just a minute. This is some information I picked up from a textbook I read recently. I have learned that the protons transported by NADH are 10 and FADH2 is 6 and that the protons needed per ATP produced is 4. So whenever we take these numbers, 10 for NADH divided by 4, we get 2.5 ATP produced per NADH in the electron transport chain. For uh, the FADH2s, the riboflavins, we get 6 divided by 4, which is 1.5 ATP per FADH2. Let's look at the overall throwdown on cell respiration. In glycolysis, the breakdown of glucose to pyruvate produces two ATPs straight up, but then also two NADHs that two times 2.5 is five ATP that are eventually cached in in the electron transport chain. When we go from the cytoplasm to the mitochondrion, there are also two more NADHs, two times 2.5 is five, cached in in the electron transport chain. In the Krebs cycle, there's a little bit more involved here. There are two ATPs pulled off during the Krebs cycle. That's for uh, two turns, remember that. And then for two turns, we also get six NADHs at 2.5 ATP per NADH, which is a total of 15 cached in at the electron transport chain. Two riboflavins, two uh, flavine adenine dinucleotides at 1.5 each. Two times 1.5 is three. So when we add this count, we get two plus five is seven, plus five is 12, plus two is 14, plus 15 is 29, plus three makes 32 ATP per molecule of glucose in total aerobic cell respiration. This is a 2017 ATP count update. Old man Barnes, stay updated with me. Let's get current.